Which didn't just wreak havoc in the Portland and Beaverton area. It also sparked a pair of uh, fires in trees in the Columbia River Gorge. Trevor Alt joins us live from Hood River with the latest from officials. Well, Dan and Gabrielle, good afternoon. After the Eagle Creek fire ripped through the Columbia River Gorge last year, people are understandably very fearful, very cautious about any new fire that sparks up. And this morning we had two of them, one on either side of the Columbia River. And while they were both relatively small, they serve as a definitive marker that fire season is upon us. It's time for me to switch gears and start thinking about new fire starts. The seasons are changing for Rachel Powlitz, and it's fair to say she is entering the busy part of the year for her time as spokesperson of the U.S. Forestry Service. This morning, she met with me near Hood River as two fires sparked up overnight, both of them likely caused by the weather. The lightning tree on the Washington side of the river was actually found, so they, they've confirmed it was a lightning strike. The one on the Oregon side was a probable lightning strike. The Washington side flames have been dubbed the Wind Mountain Fire, about a quarter acre in size and now 100% contained. Across the river where Powlett's met me is the Mitchell Point Fire. It's about a half acre in size and on steep terrain, though I'm told crews have checked the progress and the mop up is going well. The fire is not spreading. Uh, that doesn't mean it might not still be active in some way. These aren't the first gorge fires of the year. There have been a few human caused fires that were successfully extinguished, but according to pilots, these are the first of what could be many caused by nature itself. Well, one thing we were curious about is what the current fire threat is like here in the Columbia River Gorge after the Eagle Creek fire ravaged so much of the area. And I was told by the Forestry Service that, in fact, a lot of the organic flammable material that serves as fuel has already burnt. That might actually lower the risk, but there is still possibility of some smoldering fires underneath the surface that might spark back up yet again. And I do want to also mention, Dan and Gabrielle, there were some lane uh, impacts this morning as they were fighting the fire on eastbound I-84. We did just receive notice that all lanes are back open. Reporting live this afternoon in Hood River, Trevor Alt, COIN 6 News. And when we see that wind behind you, Trevor, the fire concern certainly is that much more.